Hello guys, welcome to my latest video. So in this tutorial, I will teach you how to update to the latest build the uh, decompilation executable for Sonic Mania and specifically for Sonic Mania uh, Plus. Uh, that means that it will have all the DLCs included. I will teach you how to do it because if you download the uh, executable from the GitHub page, the, alt the the latest release, you will see that the DLC is going to be by default disabled. So the only way to enable the DLC uh, and, and all that stuff is just to compile it yourself. So I'm going to show you a little guide, a very quick guide on how to do it, very simple. But you will have to install some stuff uh, yourself and to, you know, to, to install some programs and do some steps which are very, very simple. So to start off, uh, what you're going to do is create um, two folders, one folder named temp and one folder named decomp. In this decomp, we will place the executable once we finish doing it. So the first thing that you want to do is just download uh, Visual Basic uh, Studio Community uh, 2022. I will give all this readme guide into the, into the description of the video or in my Discord. So once you enter into this uh, Visual Studio 20, uh, 2022 version. You just have to download it. It will start downloading from my link automatically. So you will have to start to start the installation. Uh, it's very straightforward. The only thing that you'll have to do once you're installing the Visual Studio is to make sure to copy this, to install this desktop development with C++, to tick only MSVC version 1.4 free and to tick the Windows 11 SDK 10.0.26.100. So once you tick all these three things, you just go into straight, uh, you know, forward, 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 and until your Visual Studio 2022 is installed. So that's very easy. For uh, So for the next step, you will have to install two little programs. One is CMake. So you just go to this link, open it, go to here uh, to the CMake web page and go in and download the Windows X64 installer.msi this one you just go ahead and install it and the next program that you will need is um you know git so you open also again another website here you go to download and the installation the installer is going to automatically install uh, you know downloading to your computer so once you install those two things it's very simple. So now we're going to create a bat file. Um, so in order to do that, just open a notepad and you will have to paste all this code that is inside also this guide. So I will leave it also in the description. So just copy and paste it. And then once you have to save it, remember to save it as a bat file, as a dot bat like this dot bat. So uh, once you have this file created, go to temp, place it there dependencies.bat and you will see that here is all this code that uh, we just did so all you have to do is now execute this bat um, you just have to wait until this is done it will have to it will start doing some a bunch of stuff so don't worry it's going to take some time so we have to wait until this is done so let's see you will see all these steps going and once everything is done and the console is going to wait for you, you're pretty much done. Okay, so now that this thing is done, just uh, press an key and the window will close. 
So the next thing that you want to do is go into this uh, newly created folder inside temp, Sonic Mania the compilation, go here into this root folder and um, you can right click it but if you don't see anything just go into Windows, PowerShell, look for this thing, Windows PowerShell, open it, click on this uh, route, copy this route, go here, type CD and place the paste the route that we just copied and once you're here, we're gonna copy this next code here and then paste it in here. So now you also have to wait a couple of seconds until this process is done. So now that it's waiting and done, uh, we're going to do the same with the next code, which is going to be this one. Copy and paste it here. So don't worry if you're going to see some yellow stuff uh, showing up. It's completely normal. You just have to wait until the process is done again. This one is going to take a couple more seconds than before, but just be patient and wait until everything is done. Alright, so now that we are done, we, you can close this uh, console window with no problems. So now we're going to go into temp, we're going to go into Sonic Mania the compilation, we're going to go to dependencies, we're going to go to RSD, R, RSDK version 5, go into the... Um, uh, no. Build, sorry, it was uh, Sonic Mania the compilation, go to build dependencies and here is the k5 and then here you go to release and here you will see these two files that were just uh, compiled and created so uh, this is are the two things that we actually need so you we can finally drag these files into the dcom folder which is going to have all the game files and stuff so we're pretty much done compiling we only needed to generate these two files the executable and the dll so once you have this you basically need the game files so in order to get the game files, I'm not going to tell you where to get them, but if you can see this, um, this video, this what I'm showing to you, you can clearly see where to get them maybe, or maybe also here in this other place. It's another place that you can uh, access the, you know, the files, obviously Steam, blah, 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 blah. So once you have uh, the game installed, you, you have to extract this file from the game root of the folder. Uh, data.rsdk so place this file inside the dcom so you have all these three files together and uh, basically that's pretty much it make sure to have an xbox one controller hooked into your computer so once you have it um, let's execute the executable just be warm some uh, the audio of the game will be pretty strong probably So as you can notice, uh, we're going to change some things here. We're going to go into options. We're going to go into video just to make it everything more viewable for you guys. Uh, so we're going to change these options. We can see it a bit better. So as you can notice in the main menu, we still don't have these two modes. As you, can, as, as you saw in the title of the video, we have the DLC. As you can see, this, this thing is from the DLC. So the DLC is working, but still we, we have to unlock this. Obviously, you can unlock it by playing the game itself. But if you don't want to play all the game just to unlock these two modes, let's go into, let, let's see how to do that. So 
um, if you press escape, uh, you can access these, um, you know, you know, like death, death menu. Here you'll be able to change some video and audio options, of course, as well here. Not only from the from the game menu, and also you can enable mods if you want. You just create a folder and you put all the mods there. So let's close this. Um, we can create a, a folder here named mods, in case in the future we want to place all the mods here inside the mods folder. And then go and open settings any. Let's put a custom name. Let's say, um, you know, we're going to create a name. I'm going to show you how to do it. Username. So you just have to copy this crap. So uh, under game here, you're just going to add this line of code. Username equals whatever name you want. So here, dev menu, make sure that it says yes, so that you will be able to see the dev menu once you hit escape. Uh, you can change the resolution of the game, make sure that the pixel width and the win width are always the same value. And this one is obviously different because it's the height. And th that's pretty much it. So in order to unlock all that stuff that I show you, uh, sh you know, uh, the, the two game modes, you just have to open another uh, website so I'm going to show you. We're going to open an Internet Explorer. Go here. So once you're here, don't change anything because if you change any of these uh, files, you're obviously cheating. If you want to cheat, just cheat. You can unlock everything. But if you just want to unlock the two modes that we're talking about, which is uh, competition and time tag mode, just click these two files and click in save. So this uh, save data dot bin is going to be generated. So once it's generating, go into the um, downloads, take that file that we just downloaded and place it into the game folder. So now we're going to test it and see if these two modes are now unlocked. Sega! So as you can see, we have now time attack and competition. So this was a video on how to teach you how to update the Sonic Mania, especially if you saw my last video about Sonic that I did a couple months ago, uh, you know, this, this launcher that I did. So obviously, as I told you in the beginning, if you want to play Sonic Media, if you wanted to play this one and click in my bottom that says check update, the GitHub of the project was going to open. But if you download these releases just like that, already compiled, these shitty versions have no um, DLC as the creator says it here. Uh, so let's see if it has it here or something in the fact. And here you can see why the DLC is disabled in release builds or router builds. Long story short, minimize pricing. It's just stupid because he does it and then he says that uh, he disables DLCs to prevent piracy. It makes no sense. So I don't know. All these developers, sooner or later, they fall into the retardation hole. So don't worry. So now we learn how to do it. Uh, so enjoy. This is the Sonic Mania, the compilation tutorial. Bye.